Hello everybody, this is Danny from Deep South Homestead. We was out gathering our peppers this morning. Notice in our garden is we have body invaders. And we found these on the tomato hornworm. They're invading the body of the tomato hornworm. Now these cocoons that you're looking at here on this hornworm is called a brachnid wasp. This brachnid wasp actually comes and lays the eggs all over the hornworm. They burrow underneath their skin. These eggs that you see hanging off are actually cocoons that are spinning. They feed off of the juices that are inside the worm. Now, literally, the hormones that these brachnid wasp cocoons uh, put into the caterpillar actually causes the caterpillar to actually grow real giant. I mean, he grows into a monstrous looking caterpillar and actually doesn't really do that much damage to the plant because the hormones that they secrete, once they start reaching maturity, actually causes the caterpillar uh, hornworm to stop eating and he just basically lies dormant on the plant while the uh, brachnid wasp larva feed off of the juices out of his body. It's almost alien-like. So the body invaders that you're looking at here is one of the beneficial things to have in the garden because these brachnid wasps are fantastic in a garden. Now not only do they feed on the tomato hornworm, the tobacco worm, uh, they'll also have been known to feed on different stink bugs, uh, other different uh, squash bugs and things like this in the garden. They are known to feed on those also. Different beetles uh, in the garden, they're known to feed on them as well. But the one that we seem to notice the most is the hornworms. That's the ones that they show up the most on. And because there's some 10 to 15,000 species of these brachnid wasps, it makes it very difficult to identify them a lot of times when you see them in the garden as being a friendly predator in the garden. And lots of people are scared of them. Now, the brachnid wasp can sting you if you actually was to get it in your hands and, you know, close it up in your hands and actually push against the, uh, the part of the wasp that does the stinging on the tail there, it can actually sting you, but it's not known to be harmful to humans in any way. The body invaders that we find in our garden are actually very beneficial. So when you find one of these hornworms that's loaded up with these body invaders, the brachnid wasps, do not destroy the worm. Keep it in your garden. Because usually once you find it in that stage, it's already reached the point that it's not going to do a lot more damage. Which excites me because this is actually the first time I've seen this in my garden down here this year. So I was beginning to wonder, did we have any of the parasitic insects here that kills the tomato hornworms? And now I'm excited to see that we do. I'm not going to kill the hornworm. I'm going to take it off of the plant though, um, just so it doesn't eat anything. And I'm going to put it over on something that I know it won't eat and let the wasps go ahead and lay their, uh, let the eggs go ahead and feed on the worm and raise more. Because this is exciting for me when I see the, the beneficial insects here on my homestead attacking the things that are not beneficial. Now here they are right here. You can see them attached to him everywhere. This is what you want to see. On your homestead this is why we don't use a lot of chemicals on our homestead and stuff is because chemicals destroy the beneficial as well as the bad and we would really like to see a lot of the beneficial ones thrive here on our homestead and yes we do have to contend with a few hornworms every now and then but guys when you see this right here it's uh you know it's amazing I'm going to try to see if I can do this without them falling off of him. There we go. Well, I don't want any more ants to get to him because I want this to be able to continue to thrive. 
because we live in an area that is infested with fire ants. What I might do is go over here and stick him on the okra because we're letting our okra go to seed. I'm going to put him on the okra and hopefully he'll just climb up. I don't think he's going to hurt anything here because it's not a plant that he thrives on eating. So we're going to leave him there and um, you know, just see what happens. I'll come back and check periodically to see if he's on this plant. But I don't think he'll hurt anything right there because he seems to be right at home hiding on it. So guys, remember, chemicals kill beneficial insects as well as the bad ones. So keep in mind, this is what you want to see on your homestead is the beneficial insects attacking the bad ones. So thank y'all from Deep South Homestead.